sponsored by J&K Home Furnishings. So many good people doing great things in our community this week. I couldn't narrow it down to just one. Young and old, making the low country a better place. We start off on the golf course, a great event for an even greater cause. We are raising funds to help support all of the families who use our um, 32 bedroom house every night. The house she's talking about is the Ronald McDonald House and this is the 22nd annual charity golf classic at Cacique on Kiowa Island. A tournament that has raised over five million dollars for the Ronald McDonald House in Charleston ensuring it will continue to help families with a sick child with a place to stay and what they need most, each other. It is very expensive but we are so thankful for the community and for all of our wonderful supporters who make events like this happen. Um, Without them, we wouldn't be able to stay open 365 days for our families and be there to make sure that all they have to do is focus on their child and they don't have to worry about anything else. To know that they have a safe place to stay, laundry, food on the table, and they can just focus on their children that are in the hospital is awesome. Over $200,000 raised from this event this past week. Next stop, Sullivan's Island. As we recently told you, the story of Keegan Novak. The eight-year-old loves the outdoors, nature, and especially palmetto trees. And they're the state tree of South Carolina. They're, it's in our history. They're in our history. Keegan upset a utility was going to cut down roughly 500 trees to make room for power lines. So he came up with the simple sign and hung them on dozens of trees. The message? Don't cut them down. I just hope they notice them and really and really think about how many trees are going to go down if, if we don't stop them. For the effort and compassion, Keegan recognized by Sullivan's Island Town Council Tuesday night. <laughs> and finally, it is Military Appreciation Month and some seniors at the Palms in Mount Pleasant recently took part in the Senior Helper Salute. A military letter drive, the residents, some who also served, put their appreciation in writing and sent the words of encouragement to our service members overseas. A great way for seniors to stay connected and give back to those who are serving our country. If you have an everyday hero, please email me at bclark at wcbd.com or just hit the Everyday Heroes link. It's on our website, countonto.com.